All right. We're live today on our local business spotlight. And today we're going to interview Cody, who is the owner of Blue Clover. Um, Cody is just the most amazing person you'll ever meet. So you just want to meet her. <laughs> I met her what, like about a year ago now. Have we been working together for a year now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she's just. <laughs> So she's just an incredible person, full of life. Um, she and her fiance and two adorable daughters just moved here to McKinney um, from Louisiana. And so they, from what I understand, are loving it here, right? We love it. We love it. Love awesome. the weather a lot better than Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the weather here is nice. You can't complain too much. Yeah. But um, she's been in business with Blue Clover for about a year, you said, right? Mm -hmm. um, where she does handmade um, earrings, she does different art pieces. Uh, right now, she mainly showcases them at like the McKinney Trade Days, Facebook, and just recently opened an Etsy shop. So she'll <laughs> share all of that with us towards the end. But we're super excited to have her here today and kind of show us who she is and what she does. Um, so first of all, what do you love about what you do? Like what got you into this? Well, I've always like had an interest for art. I can remember in middle school, um, art class was probably my favorite you know, class to go to out of everything. So I've always been into drawing and colors and things like that, but I never expected it for a career path. Um, I just assumed to go down, you know, going to college, doing some sort of trade or something. But, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity this past year after having my girls um, and moving, I've kind of stepped away from nursing uh, and you know I've kind of gotten to play with art again and it's been just so rejuvenating because I forgot how much I had a passion for it and loved it so I've always been attracted to colors uh, I like the freedom that you have there's no right or wrong way to do it and you can express your way yourself in many different avenues of art so um, I like to do you know all sorts of different mediums so that's basically what gets me to do it. <laughs> That's fantastic. No, I love that. Um, so do you want to show us a little bit of uh, what you have and what you do? So I'm going to start with um, my earrings first. Because those, I mean, I started making earrings because I love jewelry. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I take that back. The only jewelry I really, really love is earrings. Because they're, <laughs> they're easier for me. Mm -hmm. I don't wear a whole lot of necklaces or bracelets. But earrings, they make a statement for me. So um, I started doing this and I do do this at the trade days. I do your basic teardrop. Um, this is like a satin gold that we have. Very pretty. And I have these in large or small. So you can see these are the small pairs. These are actually a cork oh, set. Cool. I like that. Yeah. So size wise, I have, you know, if you want to make a big statement with the bigger pieces or just like a casual statement with the smaller pieces. I find that um, the younger generation tends to like the big flashy ones and people my age or older tend to like the smaller ones. That's <laughs> so. funny because I'm like instantly drawn to like the smaller ones. I'm like, hey, I feel like the I smaller better. <laughs> the same way. So I do have them um, like these are kind of a uh, glitter shimmery, but it, mm. They're kind of elegant too, though. They have a little, they're not yeah. regular glitter earrings. And then this is a really cool pattern that I have now. It's a white uh, cool. leather with copper flex. But I also do, I, I do the faux leathers. I do um, the canvas prints. Um, I even do um, a vinyl overlay so I can do customs. Like these Ooh, are very Texas cute. lovers. So I very actually cute. do a vinyl overlay on that. And then uh, these are just a really fun pair of that faux. Alley. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. But, and I do two other sizes. Those two are my main sizes that I do. But I do dabble in um, two other ones. These are like a double, a double layered uh, I like that. pattern. Yeah, these are fun. It's a little different. Yeah. But I, tr I try to have something for everybody. Um, but my favorite ones i'm not gonna lie are my artwork <laughs> earrings so i call them my wearable art i've seen those those are gorgeous <laughs> so i have three examples um one's from acrylic pores 
One's mm -hmm. from alcohol inks and then one's just from acrylic brush um, paintings. So okay. I, I wanted to find a way to incorporate my love of art with my earring making. So these are just, to me, I haven't seen them out there yet. And I just think they're so cool. And I'm glad I got into doing them. But they're super lightweight, just like the faux leather earrings. But um, mm -hmm. no two pair look the same. They're basically, I get my material, I do my artwork on it, let it dry, seal it. And then when it's time to cut them, I cut them. And then so each each little earring is basically its own little artwork that you're wearing. So this is an example of the alcohol ink ones that I just did. I mean, I don't know. Oh, there we go. So these are actually like a hunter green with a gold, um, there's some gold veins in there and then, thank you. And then these are the brush stroke acrylic paintings and I added some gold leaf into it. That's awesome. I like what you said, like they're so unique. Like you're not going to see anything else like that anywhere. Nobody will have one that you do. Yeah, I know. And then these are probably one of my all time favorites. It's like an <laughs> ocean theme, but this is the acrylic pour ones. So you can see, let's see. Yeah. So one has a little more teal, mm -hmm. but I, I absolutely like if out of anything in my shop, this is probably like the one thing I'm beautiful. Super, super proud of. But and you said that you do custom, right? So if someone yes. calls you and says, hey, I want this color, this size, this shape, you're able to do what people want? Yes. If they, um, so with the material, I, I probably get about 10, maybe 10 pair, 10, 15 pair out of the material size that I use for the um, for the wearable art. Okay. So if you do want a color, I can definitely do that color concept and I'll just have extras, you know, to sell out of that batch. But yes, you can pick whichever ones you want. Um, I try to do, it's, it's kind of hard with these, especially I have to note on Etsy that no two pair look the same. So you get a di different variation, okay. but if you definitely come to the McKinney trade days or whatnot. You can look at them in person and pick the exact pair that you want. Um, but for my artwork, I do numerous. Yes, I love your art. <laughs> so I do uh, acrylic pores, alcohol inks, and then the um, acrylic brush stroke paintings. I actually don't have any of the brush stroke paintings in stock yet. I'm still working on some new ones, but I okay. do have your my acrylic pour and alcohol ink. So I'll start with my acrylics. So. I can do any size range. This is actually an eight by eight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So this is actually an eight by eight. And um, I do a wooden frame on all my, so all my artwork comes, it's varnished with a UV non-yellowing varnish. And then I okay. top it with a UV um, epoxy resin to give it that nice like pop. Mm -hmm. And then all my artwork has these frames. So it's really neat. It's and when you uh, look into the, um, in the light, you can see this one actually has gold in it. And it's mm -hmm. really up close and personal. And then I also have this one. This is a nine by 12. Very nice. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And then my last piece I have is the 16 by 20. I can go as small as eight by eight and I can go as large as 48 by 30 or actually as large as you request. So this is a 16 by 20. Oh, that's beautiful. I love purple. <laughs> Me too. Purple's my favorite color. So I yes. really, really love this one. And then, um, and then my last two, this is a little alcohol ink. This is an example of my alcohol ink that I do on UPO paper. So this okay. one's actually sealed and put into a frame. Got so it. Shadow frame. And um, then my next one is this one. Uh, this one's not in a shadow frame. So with these, it's similar to my, um, my acrylic pores. I do it on the UPO paper and then I adhere it to a canvas and then okay. I cover with the uh, resin and make the frame. So this is probably Very one of my favorites, yes. Does it have a little bit of texture there? Did I see texture um, there? There's no texture, like everything's smooth. 
it okay. looks textured, but it's smooth. The ones that are gonna, yeah, the ones that are going to have the texture are going to be the ones with the brush stroke and the gold fleck. And the okay. Fleck. Yes. Do you mind holding on one second? I have to unlock the door for my fiance. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. <laughs> So while Cody's doing that, so something I, I've always adored her artwork because it's kind of my style and kind of what I like. And for a long time, I was going through to different stores trying to see what I could find. And I just couldn't find anything unique or what spoke to me or what I liked. And then I came across Cody's artwork and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's what I love. It's what I've been looking for and can't find. And I just have to convince Roland that I need to buy them all and put them all over the head. But I think anyway. that's the hardest thing. Yeah, I have to convince yeah. Danny into things too. <laughs> Well, so I do do custom orders. So um, if you ever have a color concept or if you need help with your interior, because I do a lot of artwork for my house also. Um, so I can do any custom. I can do a trio, a double, or just a single. Probably my most popular sizes would probably be a 16 by 20. Um, okay. Only because it's small enough, but also big enough to kind of go with anybody's decor. Um, mm -hmm. Usually, if I do the smaller pieces, it's several small pieces together. So, okay. but awesome. that's probably um, that's probably the most like wanted or coveted size. Yes. Now, of course, for bigger areas, I love doing big ones. Um, those are also highly coveted too. But those those will take me a little while to do. <laughs> How long does it typically take you to do each piece? So it depends on the size, obviously, but um, the acrylic pouring is a little, it's time consuming prep wise, but the actual like doing it is a little quicker than everything else. Okay. The, the alcohol inks, those can take me anywhere from like 35 minutes to like five hours, depending on how intense that I get into it. And then obviously the varnishing process and the epoxy resin process that can that takes up to 72 hours okay and you have to add on the building of the frame that takes probably a few hours so altogether a piece from start to finish will probably take me a couple of days just to get okay. start to finish and same with the earrings the earrings probably the wearable art earrings probably take me a day or two because i have to wait for it to fully dry right. Um, but the regular earrings, those can take me a couple of, I mean, maybe a few hours. If I already have it cut and everything, only a few minutes to assemble. But, okay. um, but yeah, it's time awesome. consuming. You, <laughs> do you ship orders? I'm sure people are wondering that. Do I do what? You ship orders. Yes. So okay. I um, finally just got my Etsy account working right now. It only has my earrings and I do ship. I ship in the United States only right now. Um, so I can ship anywhere in the US for you. With the artwork, I'm actually adding my smaller pieces, anything smaller than a 12 by 12 up onto the shop next week, hopefully. And I'll okay. ship those domestically also. I'm still searching for like um, a place to buy boxes in larger sizes so I can put my larger artwork up there to sell as well. But right now, all I found is smaller boxes. So until I get those big ones, those I can't ship right now. <laughs> okay. Well, people just have to deal with the small ones then. <laughs> well, pretty yeah. well, you can come check us out at the trade days and then um, I'll have my bigger pieces there. And I'm actually doing a art exhibit in Addison, Texas. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it got moved from May to July now, but okay. I believe it's July 17th and 18th, and it's the Urban Artist Market. So I'll be showcasing all my artwork there. So. Awesome. Well, wonderful. And then when are the McKinney trade days? I know they're down right now, but when are they typically? Um, usually it's uh, usually the second weekend, second or third weekend, depending on you know how the month goes um but right now the mckinney trade days was actually supposed to be this weekend but unfortunately because of covid it's not they are doing a virtual like market but unfortunately i didn't have everything in order to do that this month but hopefully next month will be open but you never know so it may not even be until june okay perfect 
Well, great. Well, in the meantime, they can visit your Etsy shop. What? Um, how can they contact you on Etsy? What's your Etsy shop name? So the Etsy shop name is Blue Clover by Cody. There's no spaces. Okay. And, um, you can contact me and message me on there. Um, those will have all my earrings that I have on there. And okay. if you want to check out my Instagram, my Instagram and Facebook mirror the same thing. I'm a little more active on Instagram, but that okay. one is Blue dot clover dot art and um that's my instagram account and you'll see all my artwork plus some earrings it won't have all my earrings but it'll have most of my art earrings so okay. you'll see my wearable art okay and what's the best way for them to contact you if they want something custom done if you want something custom done you can message me on instagram or um mainly on Instagram, but my email account, my email address is um, blue.clover.art.fi.cody at gmail.com. I know that's a little long, but all the other ones were taken, but uh, you can email me directly on there and I can, you know, we can work something out for any custom orders that you want or custom earrings that you would like. Okay. Perfect. I put all that in the comments if anyone uh, needs those. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments now. Otherwise, um, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Or? I mean, I just hope everybody's staying safe and thank you for taking the time to do this. Yeah, we're so grateful you came on and we're able to showcase what you do and and uh, we appreciate you bringing art and beauty into our lives. I, I appreciate the arts people because I just love it and I can't create it myself. So I'm always like, <laughs> well, I think I really enjoy doing what I do. So, I mean, even, even if I don't make sales, I still enjoy every moment of it. Do you feel like art's very therapeutic? Because I feel like you could use art to kind of like work through stuff and like express things with your hands. And it's always something I've been like, man, I wish I could do that. Definitely. You know, some people work out. I mean, I wish I had that edge in me to want to work out all the time, but I don't. But some people use that as an outlet. For me, art definitely is very therapeutic. There's something about it when I'm in the zone. I just kind of mm -hmm. kind of forget everything else. And for that moment, I'm, I know I'm creating something beautiful. So it's always fun. Every emotion creates a different um, work of art. But at the end of the day, the cool thing about art is if you don't like it, you can always change it. And again, there's no right or wrong way of doing art. It's just how you see it. So yeah, it's fun. It definitely is. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Cody, for joining us. And uh, if anyone wants to contact Cody, all of her information is there in the comments. And let us know if uh, you have any other questions and we'll make sure we get those answers for you. Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks for having so me. Oh, my pleasure. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.